Good morning, folks. The M-Class flares continue. We've had more eruptions. We've got good news geomagnetically, however, and top science news starting with our star. The eruptions continued, but the most active region is now on its way to the limb, out of Earth-facing position as it continues erupting. We'll diagnose one of those eruptions in a moment, but first, let's go to geomagnetic conditions. NOAA's KP index shows that KP5 level 1 geomagnetic storms reverberated yesterday, but without further significant impacts in the solar wind, it went no higher. The 30-minute KP index we shared yesterday morning showed how we actually broke up above that KP6 mark and even hit KP7 for a brief period, but for the last 24 hours, it shows we did break up near KP6 range. Good news is that without another impact yesterday, the conditions will stabilize while we await the next ones, and that little 5-10% to chance of disaster we expressed yesterday is all but gone now. As we showed yesterday, there was at least one other CME with a halo eruption that can deliver plasma to our planet, and we did get another one following it that can be characterized in the same way. Of the several eruptive events on the south, one of them did produce another halo event, again with most of the plasma going south, but it's relatively sparse like the previous eruption. Two faint eruptions coming, but we can rest assured they won't take the KP any higher than it already was. There have been several large-scale internet outages and transmission line fires reported over the last 36 hours outside of inclement weather areas, but that's likely to be all we're going to see from this space weather uptick. Heading now to the Rutgers Snow Lab because the dropping northern hemisphere spring snow cover is back in the news, thumping a message of global warming. Veteran observers know what's coming next. They focus on spring snow cover because winter snow cover is actually on the rise and fall snow cover is rising as fast as spring is falling. They only share the first one because it kind of destroys the narrative they wish to convey. Excellent pieces up next on environmental risk. USGS has been pushing the arc storm potential, saying it's increasingly likely to happen now and will make its entry into the spotlight, most likely in California. We also have a good one from Cambridge on volcano risk and an excellent identification of the higher probability of such an event compared to things that get mega funding like asteroid deflection, but which have much lower occurrence probabilities. FYI, we are due for something much bigger than Tonga or Pinatubo. Lastly, folks, for those in the Colorado area, we're having a meetup next Friday, one week from now on the 26th. If you're in the area, we will have several of the Observer Ranch trailers out there, and we'll be discussing the ongoing disaster scenario. Link to the event is below in today's link list. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.